Hello and welcome back. It's Naomi here with DeLaLife.Love, which I finally got on my blog. So let's do a scribble sketch, draw it page. Drawing a page number is so exciting. I get so excited. What is it going to be? Page 129. Woohoo! Let's get started. You got your pencil, everybody? Piece of paper? I'm just using a regular old pencil, nothing fancy. What do we have here? We have tadpole and starry handfish. Well, I know what a tadpole is, so I, I can guesstimate that, but I am going to go ahead and look it up. Never heard of a starry handfish before, but no worries. That's what the good old internet is for. So I've got my number two pencil, just your usual dollar store number two pencil, nothing fancy. Going to get started um, drawing out the shape of a tadpole. I love doing big eyes on animals, so you'll see that. Definitely uh, big eyes. And I want to make sure I don't start it too big on the center of the page because I've got two animals here to draw. So hopefully you guys are um, doing the same, following along. You've got your pencil and paper. And this is how I kind of get my ideas and shapes in place. Just look online on my cell phone or on the computer at my desk and find one of the animals that I think is giving me basically what I want and then I start drawing. This one came out really cute. I got more creative with the colors and I pretty much always do that. I never do anything really true to life colors. Um, I forget what they call that, but it's my rendition basically. And then as well as um, the starry-eyed handfish, that one is just adorable. Star-eyed handfish is kind of like this flat disc with little arms and legs and a long tail, almost like, what do they call it, a stingray. And it's just very cool looking. You'll see it's pretty flat, very much, kind of like a cross between a stingray and a frog. And it's, or a horny toad, or a horned toad, I guess. We used to call them horny toads. Um, but it's a fish very cool looking and I love the bright colors so I, I used a lot of pinks reds and oranges on the starry eyed starry hot hand fish <laughs> I want to call it a horned toad um, starry hand fish so um, again with my pencil just doing a pencil sketch and getting this starry hand fish going on the page so I can't wait to see your guys' rendition of a starry handfish.
So time to do the lining. I've got a Copic Multi Liner 0 0.3 and unfortunately it is not waterproof. You'll see that later um, or actually you probably already noticed that on the uh, initial picture that I used for the YouTube page. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't look that great. So I did add some background watercolor in blue and hopefully that helped. But this was a lot of fun doing the little pointy, oh gosh, I don't know what you would even call them when like the horned toad has points on his back. This little starry handfish has points and that's where I'm trying to just do the lines and then I'm going to with the paint kind of make it a different color so you can see that it's actually sticking up from the body of the starry starry hand fish. Very cool looking fish. I'd like to see more of these sea creatures and maybe you can find them in a um, aquarium. That would be cool. I love going to those. Anyways, <laughs> I digress some more. So finishing up the tadpole with the liner looks adorable. I think it's great. Now we've got the colors I'm using are um, watercolor pens. They're Artist Loft, a very cheap brand. Just I think Artist Loft might even be um, a store brand. And then Tombos, which are not very cheap, but um, I like them and I have a lot of them and I haven't used them and unfortunately I have a lot of repeat colors but as I said I'll list everything down below so that you can see what colors I use to get these vibrant uh, creatures on the page and you see I did some color swatching to to see to decide what colors I actually wanted um, and the watercolor came out very well the page held up really well you'll see that as I um, do the watercolor painting. I flip the page back and forth so that I can see if it's really coming through. And um, it wasn't bad. The as you know, these pages hold up pretty well as long as, long as you don't really oversaturate the page. It's um, pretty nice. So unfortunately, here's where you see I'm trying to use watercolor and it's not working on um, the Artist Loft and Tombow watercolor pens. With Tombows, you really usually can spread it around, but I'm thinking it's because there's no grooves. This is not watercolor paper and it's just not working out. So this is where I decide to switch and use the Ohuhu ink markers. Again, I will have those listed down below as well. <clears throat> but I'm still trying to get through with the Tombows. I just use them as markers now and I don't um, use watercolor on the page anymore. So, um, so even though I said watercolor holds up pretty well on this, I didn't use a lot. It's because I ultimately squashed trying to make it watercolor and just use the watercolor pins as markers, which is perfectly fine because everybody who uses Tombows knows that they're good as markers and watercolor uh, pens as well. Um, you don't need to have them. You can use colored pencils, of course, or whatever tools you choose to use are perfectly fine. And I'm sure everything will come out great. And as I said, I'm starting to get repetitive, but I would love to see your work.
Now I'm using a brown watercolor marker. It's the Artist Loft Brown. It doesn't have a name on it, but trust me, it's like a dark brown. And uh, just adding some details and some textures, doing some dots for um, just kind of defining some areas, like uh, especially on the fins, you know, you want to see that there's um, some texture in there and sh some shape in there. It's not just a flat image. And I think it came out really well. So with a little bit of a darker orange pen, I'm just um, brightening Starry up. <laughs> starry, Starry Handfish is not really easy to say, but I'm um, adding some more shading on the fins and darkening the fish up and I think just looks great. So I'm really happy with the way Starry Handfish came out, doing a little bit of highlights now with a, um, darn it, what do you call that pen? moved them now so <clears throat> let's see ah Posca a white Posca for highlighting kind of adding like little splashes so that it looks like she's glimmering in the water you know how when you pull a fish out of the water it's got this glistening I know it's kind of a slimy stuff that protects them in the water but that's what I'm using the white Posca pin for So now I'm just using straight up Copic markers and I'm giving some shading to some areas that I want on the tadpole. I'm just using a light gray. Again, they will be listed down below. It's kind of a greenish gray because I wanted to go with a blue, bluish greenish looking tadpole. And I really, again, love the way this little tadpole turned out. So um, I hope you enjoy it and I will talk to you about the next color. So with this green gray, I've added splotches and you know just some some character to this little tadpole. And now I've chosen some greens, various greens to add to um, 
the areas that aren't colored in obviously and I'm gonna do some more splotchy work little dots and um, just add some character to this little guy Now with a little bit of a lighter green, I'm just going to do some highlights in some of the sections that want, I want a little bit of a brighter green. Um, and yeah, so it looks really good. I'm very happy with this very simple little tadpole. I think the orange eyes really made this little tadpole pop out and I just adore this little tadpole. Um, had a lot of fun with this page and I'm just getting more and more excited with each new page. At the end I did not record it but I did paint in the page um, background with watercolor and that's where you see that the Copic marker bled a little bit so I'm uh, not real happy with that but I think this page turned out great. I hope you guys uh, again come back and show me what you've done. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.